Hello. Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? On a good day, good new year. Finally done with 21, 2021. It's starting 2022. And I'm finally starting it off with more art, as usual. But hey, I'm finally back to streaming. I've been away from stream for a few weeks just because of shit happening. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Because I am back, and that's all that matters now. I think. That's usually what people say, right? How's everyone doing? Everyone feeling fresh, feeling alive? Join the new year or anything? I am currently mixing with magnets. What's up, what's up, people? How about I share my screen now? And we can get started with some drawings. Hmm. How's that sound? I'm here, back, smart. <coughs> <coughs> what do I want to draw first? What to draw, what to draw, what to draw. I think I'm gonna draw you know, like characters. Like oh, but which one? I haven't drawn Polaris in a while. I haven't really drawn some of Polaris. I haven't drawn him in a long time. I don't think I've ever drawn him on stream before actually. A bit of a post. Thin face. Mm, get his flaming head. For drawing players, I don't have to do facial features. It makes everything much easier. I mean, yeah, that is a good pro tip. I'll <coughs> make an art first step is draw. It's been a long time since I've done something in Polaris. 
It was a fun one to drive. Very colorful. So they designed a new outfit for him. I don't like the old one. I'm gonna put a shoulder up here, and a shoulder next to me, and I'm gonna put it down here. No, I don't like this. I'm looking at this going on right now. Here we go. Let's get them on. Going on here. Yeah, it's a bit better. Yeah, that's more like it. I like that much more. We're going to give him a bit of a redesign, a bit of a glow up today. Perspective, I'm actually going to grab a picture of him to use as, or to show. I haven't done art of him in a long time. So all my existing art of him is pretty old. Uh, Polaris, let's just get my base character like reference photo for him. So this is the reference of him. Like I said, flaming head. Got that. Got the face mask. Oh, I, wrong direction. Oh well, I can inverse the direction. It's fine. Very colorful, but he's not like super buff or anything. He's fairly slender. But he needs some new pizzazz. I don't like this outfit. Posing isn't horrible but it could be better. This one I'm definitely adding more spice. Gotta add more spice. So let's see. Yes, this is an original character somewhat. It's uh <coughs> It's both my character from Starbound and one of my D&D characters because I was in a campaign, they allowed homebrew races, and I found a homebrew Nova Kid race, which was from Starbound. So I really enjoyed playing with it, and I just did like Sorcerer with all kinds of different fire spells and abilities. It's like the Phoenix Soul Sorcerer, because that was the coolest one. And blended well with the Nova Kid features. So I went with uh, Phoenix Soul Sorcerer, the UA for it. And just chose all the fire spells I could. So he's one hot boy. But. One of the racial features for Nova Kid they gave him was short-term memory loss. So I kind of took that and ran with it. They have no definite lifespan, so he's like a thousand years old or so. But a short-term memory loss and his long-term memory isn't all that good either. So he remembers some things, but there's a lot of stuff with past that he just doesn't remember or just doesn't think about. It doesn't phase him. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that happened in the past that, like, should have dramatized him, but just didn't, because he doesn't think about it. Let's figure out how this arm works in the meantime. But, while playing Starbound, I chose Nova Kick, because it's just fun. I like being the fireman made of star flame or whatever. Little star man over here. 
it was just a good time. And they can like craft guns, whereas no other race can. Nice. Thinner arms, thinner arms. He's not jacked. But it ends up becoming a mix of the two. So there's a lot of the. But I mean, part of the reason why I kept short memory loss so I didn't have to write the whole backstory for all thousand years of his life immediately, I could just fill in the gaps later. <coughs> Do I want to have the arm go back here? Do I want to do this? Real question. Let me go here. Yeah, why not? No, actually, I got a cooler in here, I think. The question is if I can pull it off. And closing time. gotten easier to make hands over time but it just doesn't. I mean some set parts of back story, at least at this point, is that for a brief while he was a uh, pirate captain. Got mutineered. Burnt the ship down. He just lit it on fire and then left. So he survived that He's been married multiple times. He's, he lives forever. Thumbnail. I'm gonna trail some like fire effects in front here. There are sometimes he doesn't he doesn't like settling down anywhere. He likes to travel and explore, see everything, find new things, discover new things. <coughs> I mean, he's very chaotic with a very lacking moral compass, ADHD, and short-term memory. I mean, chaos is just in its nature. I have a lot of fun playing him around because I can just do kind of whatever I feel like in the moment. Does anything make sense? Done. An amazing buffers and grilby. I mean, kind of. It, it's a Nova kit, so they're made of fire, much like grilby is. He's got this, uh, the Nova Kid have their, uh, face plates, though. I don't think Grilby does. He just has, like, a normal face. -ish. I do need to give him a shirt, though. I haven't given him a shirt yet. I need to figure out this hand, too, now. This hand is kind of wonk, but, you know. Happens.
Okay, there we go. Okay. Gotta deselect. Now that hand looks kind of like the Grinch. From, from perspective, uh, Ace Rabbit, because I think you missed it. I am doing a redraw of my old character Polaris here. <coughs> I haven't drawn him in a very long time, and it was fun to draw. I have multiple drawings of him, but they're all pretty old. They're very shaping, very bright colors. The posing is meh sometimes, because I haven't done it in a very long time. About high time. I make him again. Or at least just do some drawing. So I want the fire to be coming around and going out. more like this. Okay. Get some fire going out about here. Part about doing fire there is I could cover up part of the hands that I don't like. Back on. There. I shall need to give him some clothes though. He doesn't have any clothes on right now. Bye. 
I haven't decided what kind of clothes I'm going to give him now. I think we're going to keep the arms mostly uncovered still, but some kind of vest. What are you guys thinking, Chad? What kind of clothes should I give them? Because I don't like this outfit anymore. I'll give them some spice. ideas from you guys in chat or my eyes on my own for this. Western movie fashion. Let's get some stuff in here. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. This is. Should we do one of these outfits? Still. Hmm. I could do something like this, do something like this. Alright, I like this idea. to try this out and see how I like this outfit. Uh, 
see how I like this aside. So I always right here through this line. Do I want to give him one of these some things? Get what it's called. No, I don't really want to give him one of those. Ooh, it's too late. Back out of this. Yep, it's a bit little too late. It's alright. Let's go with the arm band here and here. <coughs> For a bit more flowy, semi transparent fabric. Because I love me some flowy fabric. Oh, I probably should have saved before getting to this point so I could get back to it. I didn't like this idea. Oh well. I'm liking the idea. I'm liking it. There are bands here, of course. Here's your armband on the other side. No. Go. I think that's it. I think we got our first drawing for the day. Should I start adding color or go to the next drawing? What do you guys think? Because I can definitely start adding color to this, but. Here we go. Let's get that a bit more defined. Color? Alright. I can start getting a new color. I do want to do this on a new layer. Let's start grabbing his colors. Wait, actually, I can. I can reference from here. Yeah. Actually, first I'm going to start with my base of blue. You know, for where he is. This needs to be slightly more like so. And this is better. That's a better, yeah. Oh, I did completely space dimension, but 
I'm suddenly using a brand new software for my art. I finally got a, uh, I got a better drawing tablet for my computer. So now I can much more effectively use Photoshop that I just had for a while. So now I can, so now I'm finally using that stream because that's much easier for me to stream from my computer. I don't have to look up some weird thing to connect my computer and iPad and then stream that way. It's just boom. It's right here. It's great. Christmas is a wonderful time. Probably actually move this above here. Give me a pass it down a bit though. Here we go. No, I wanted to waste it. Go. Not one hour. I'm going to click save here while I'm drawn. There we go, and uh, I'm just going to cheat and bucket a paint this quickly. And then patch. That was easier this way. But with having Photoshop and drawing tablet, it does mean <coughs> that I'm not zooming in and out constantly. Got those out of there. Oh, you shouldn't be able to. There we go, doesn't matter. Nice one, Marker. There we are now. Just 
Here's some kids up there. Alright, they're coming up a little bit. There we go. This for er, for clipping mask. I can just cover the whole thing with this. I need a slightly bigger brush now. Not much of him is this uh, like very dark blue. One of the points that would be like really cold. So you know, like tips of fingers and hair for lack of a better term. Let's see extremities. There we go. We got those. Time to grab the next tones. Or it's really the cyan and the white. All right. Which one do you use? Cyan. So just go back to the game this. There we go. There. Just detail lines. There's some arm details in here. Chest is very bright. Here we go. Some of this. And one of the th fun things about players is that they can uh, change their color. Because he's made of fire and in D and D fifth edition. The uh control flame cantrip can be used to just change his entire body color. You just make like saves to prevent it if someone else is using it. 
he can like counter it with his own magic. Just so that like any enemy with control fire doesn't just immediately wipe him out. Otherwise, yeah, we'd have some issues. Here we go, time for the white. So the white comes in areas that are like really hot. On his face, on his chest. Not that you're gonna really see most of his chest. But, yeah. There we go. I think that's the uh, flames done. I sure body. I'm still going lineless, much to the original. Now, let's see. Do I start with clothes or face mask? I do want to color sample face mask. Remember what it was? Okay. It's just around there. I do want to make it a bit lighter. And give it some slight color. This, I'm gonna zoom in though. Take this off. Smaller brush. to the point. There we go, that looks good, looks good. Use some uh bit of touch map. Yeah. That looks good. <coughs> Let's get a light, slightly more colored version. To get the inside of it. them on the same layer because it's time to mess with hue and separation a bit there we go image adjustment brings contrast legs seems a bit better
Who does the fire? No, I want fire concepts. Okay, yeah. Then back to here. And we'll bring the saturation down a bit. Okay. There we go, that's his faceplate. Next is the start on the clothes. <coughs> so this is where I'm going to switch to the other color. Where here. Yes. There we go. So I can use a lot of brush for this. Make sure this is set firmly in place. So I just have to place corset around it next. And I'm out of it. No, I don't like that. I did like that. But I want a slightly smaller brush to touch up around here. We get this. I'm gonna just get some uh, bit of shading. Just let me know at any point if you just want me to switch to a different drawing. And otherwise, I can do this for quite a while. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Just not this one. Okay, so it is here. Blur it up a bit. It's not too harsh. This going on for getting the transition better. It's dark around these parts. <coughs> and now I need to get the next color.
Okay, or set. Okay, yeah. I just forgot to grab this lower edge with it. So let's say let's get this right in. There we go. And I need the armbands. Crack joints, fresh and drink. <sighs> so used to zooming in a lot and doing it, doing this art. Yeah, nice and close up detail. Anyways, time to get some uh, shading in. So I am going to make my brush look bigger and get back the uh, Pressure sensitivity for opacity. Well, I do some of the shading for this. <laughs> Blur likes to lag out Photoshop. This is gonna be a bit. <coughs> is that even gonna affect that much? Hmm. No, no. All right. Smudge tool it is then. I can blur with that.
There we go, that looks better. And a smaller brush, um, like this. <coughs> there we go. That looks much better. And let's start getting some of this transparent fabric in. Maybe around this color. There we go. I mean, yeah, I gotta. I'm, it's a much more loose style with what I'm doing, which is why it's like going faster. Like otherwise, nah, I would not have the colors done yet. The sketch would have taken me longer on its own. So I'm gonna be flipping canvas back and forth, zooming in a lot more, making sure I get everything done much better compositionally before I kind of dive head in. But I mean that's kind of the advantage of doing it in the streams. Like I don't have that opportunity to sit here for three hours perfecting the sketch before I even start. It's just like alright I gotta gotta get this done and move on to the next step so that I don't disappoint people or keep them waiting. White there. Yeah. So let's see. Actually, no, I'm not done with this color yet, so I am going to. A lot of it comes with that panic, I think, potentially. <coughs> right, let's connect it a little better there. And now, I forgot to go down here. I'm just gonna quickly do something reasonable down there. Darker, more distinct. Don't start losing bits and pieces. Let's see, where am I heading up? Ah, yes. I have more of these to do. What is transparent fabric? That's a bit better. And now I'm going to do a little bit more touching up around here in the flames. There's some more white spots.
What do you guys say? Do I fully render this piece all stream? Or do I figure something else to draw next? I mean, I probably have the time to make this a somewhat finished piece. I did my warm up from earlier as well. So what do you say? Dave just be adding a fire. What I can do already though is this. glow effect in. Another fun fact about Polaris is probably obvious. He's not sneaky. He glows and shoots fire everywhere. He tells us he's like a Russian stealth. No one will know he's there if there's no one there to know. There we go, looks a bit better. There, a little bit more. And now, switch colors, it's white. And a rough racing behind him. Oh! PC's gotta catch up. It's not happy with what I just did. Okay, here's how. Oh, sort of? There we go, and now. Blur. Now zoom blur. This much. Much do I got? Yeah, that's better. <coughs> uh, from here to here, I will group together. Actually, I want that. Outer glow. Set two mirrors. Linear dodge. There we go. All right. This I'm actually gonna blur some more. I think. Yeah. All right. Oh, 
force spread for a bigger size. No check. I'm gonna pass it up. I definitely bring the size up. Spread down. Capacity. Alrighty. There we go. Now something in here. This is closing my area. Yes. Yes. There's a couple mass here. So I'm going to set this to add. And I'm going to get a much smaller brush. There we go. Nice rim lighting. And he is, in fact, glowing. There we go. There we go. Go with that. Let's put this in here a bit. Turn this down a little. I could do with a bigger eraser. There we go. <coughs> yeah. And this. There we go. So other than the fire, this is ready to go. make this a finished piece already though. First, I'm going to have to start meddling with this brush. I do like it. I'm going to save this brush. Yeah. Switch. And now I'm sort of messing with scattering. Scatter way up. Count much lower. Count shutter high, yes. Spacing way up. There we go. Higher. Yeah. That's good, that's good. Lights are back now. Gonna get this lighter.
give it an outer glow. Similar in case where I put it like this. Passing it below. This again, I'm gonna set add. I'm gonna have the passing lower though. Spread definitely down. And actually, I'm gonna make this more blue like this. Uh -huh. Bigger. More passing. Okay. <coughs> so there's this sort of starry effect behind them. Let's get this fire going now. Uh, I need to make a new layer. Let's grab red. Oh, we can't even see this. There we go. Oh, oops. I need to... This... Is this... this I'm scattering off. There we go. Is this my sketch? No, this is not. Gosh, here it is. Don't do that. I must get this flames in. Here I am going silent, just drawing. What a surprise. Let me put this in now. I should probably say, don't worry if this doesn't make sense. It's not going to. And it doesn't need to. Things are weird, man. They're weird to draw. With weird shapes. And weird colors.
but all right. <coughs> Mask. All right, here we go. Let's start getting into some yellows and oranges. I'm gonna do the process of display much like I did for uh, Blair's body. That's the downside of such big brushes. Sometimes the computer gets upset with me for it. It's fine though. We can deal. Let's get more yellowish now. No, 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 no. It's too close to where the red was. Okay. Kind of it here. There you go. Now let's get in some of this white. The hottest part. This. There we go. Now I am going to do a tiny bit of this. Actually, I need to merge these layers first because I want to blur both of them at the same time. here actually will this mm. gotta see if this more around here load okay right idea way too much on the blur though yes if I go on the blur tool though go very big push up the brush yeah. Blur it. See if it does much at all once it loads. This is going to be a while. <coughs> May or may not be operating on 300 DPI right now.
while this loads, I'm going to take a quick five second deep break. So hopefully when I'm back, this is all loaded. Ah, good. It's all loaded. I am back. Did it even change it? A tiny bit. I could also just do this, though. Which will probably be quicker. Let me do more. Also didn't do too much, but I do like it. Now... I want, whoops, I want to grab some of these colors. I'm on orange, bigger brush size. Not having a good time. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you can hear, but my computer is melting. Alright. Lower resolution texture. Noted. Let's get some wire on here. Let it finish. Load, blur, Gaussian blur. Mm. Let's take a. Yeah, this looks good. This to this and 
Keep set to add. <coughs> but now, this needs its own outer glow. Also set to add. Well, I'm here just because I can. Let's see if I can get good motion blur on this fire. Ooh, that motion blur looks nice. It kind of looks nice. Mm. So I'm going to do something. Feather... Uh, remember, I'm operating on a huge scale right now for no reason. If I do this... Well, actually... I'm going to do this. Make sure result better. Yep, yep. Now I'm going to go filter blur motion blur. Okay, okay. Like this. Now it's time for me to highlight this part. Get these corners, come on. Here we go. Filter, blur, motion blur, change the angle down. And there we go. <coughs> now that nice. I like that. What do you guys think? Is it looking good? Consider this one a success. I think, other than some post tweaks, this is about a finished piece. <coughs> I just gotta go into here. Oops. Can't do that. Um, 
going with two of these layers. I'm going to merge these for what I'm about to do. Okay. So I want to use the smudge tool. Not this side. Oh, oh no. Oh, I am just killing my computer with this resolution. Oh, the poor PC. I'm gonna have to modify the resolution of this image. In a sec. Once this loads, of course. Something I'm actually going to do prior to the merge. I have an idea. I do want to hit the Gaussian blur again, not this much. Make it a bit smoother. Okay. Now, merge these layers. While I'm here, image size. Ugh. The solution, I'm going to drop it to 150. Ugh. Significantly shrink it. So my computer's less of a bad time. trying to do this. There we go. Yeah. Never going quicker. Still taking some, but definitely doing better. The more smooth, the more blended. Alright, see the progress that's happening. Alright, alright, alright. Cool, 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 cool. Anyways, I'm gonna get this, this going on. Oh, well, much smaller. Yeah, 
There we go. Oh, I did put that this from here. <coughs> and that, from the looks of it, I think I'm done with this drawing. Maybe just some more smudging up here. There we go. Much better. Boom. I like this a lot. Very bright and colorful. But I do like the outfit more than the original. The original has weird feet, too. Now, look at those feet. Hell's up with this one here. Whoops, don't do that. <laughs> the only thing missing from this is the calligraphy. Well, the cursive writing. I'm not doing that though. It's a pain to do. And I want the blur tool to be much smaller. Much, much smaller here. I'm gonna just end up keep fussing with this though if I keep at it. Let's see. You guys want one last quick doodle before stream ends? I guess another 20 minutes still. Oh, the doodle is this the note I should end it off on? Yes, please. Ooh, more doodles. All right, let's see. What do you want as a doodle? What do you want? 
There we go. So I need to invert this back. Yeah, let me put this in here. Last guess. My sketch and color. So, what do you want to see? Any specific requests, or should I just have at it for the last 20 minutes? Lizard. Ooh, lizard. Lizard time. Ooh, what kind of lizard do I want to draw? I'm just going to start drawing the lizard. I'm going to like some kind of Komodo dragon y type lizard. This needs to get out of the way though. Got shoulders, you got big shoulders.
That looks weird. How do lizard legs look? What do lizard legs look like? I only know this part. This is the part that I just do. And sometimes you go like for real. Wow. That is not mini over there. No. Yeah, I got their top. That's more snake. Oh yeah. No. Your nose stick up. No, 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 no. Racer, not so much. Need your nose to stick up. Longer drop, bigger draw muscle. Kind of like a horse lizard. I'm making the legs look the way I want to, because <coughs> I don't care that much. I haven't taken any lizard anatomy classes lately. Squeak a little perfect. Why are you squeaking? My stylus is squeaking at me. And I don't know why. Let's get this nice lizard friend in here. He still looks like a horse. Then again, if you look at the, like a Komodo dragon's head, they're kind of shaped like this. Pretty sure they are. I didn't pull up a reference for this. This is just lizard from memory. Looks like a frillo's tail, like an iguana. I'm gonna do some environment. Looking at a leaf. Nice crispy leaf. I want to sit. This is an herbivore. Some kind of dinosaur lizard. I mean, yeah, for memory, it's not that bad of a lizard, it's just, I don't draw lizards that often, so I don't have just a memory bank for them.
I got some trees. Just short ones. Trees is just scribbles. Some kind of berry growing as well. Or this leaf. The leaf kind of reminds me the shape. It reminds me of the, like a uh, herbs from Harvest Moon. I used to love those games. I haven't played one in a long time. I wonder if I can get one for my Switch. If so I can absolutely get one. I love Harvest Moon. I think I can get Stardew Valley for my Switch. Oh, there are her smooth switches. Sweet. I'm gonna get one. I want it. Just go like dinosaur decay. Coming along, looking for the leaf. Yeah. But here you go. A nice little lizard. In some kind of dinosaur. Jungle area. I'm just shading. I can't help myself. <coughs> but this is gonna have to be the end for this stream. It was a great time. I'm glad to finally be back after going almost a month without streaming. So thank you everyone for coming along, drawing with, or watching me draw it. Brain failing. It was a great time. But I will see you guys next week. Hopefully nothing comes up again. <laughs>